Thank you for joining me for this Explorer project part of the HANA Academy. We are looking at the second video out of six, which shows how to connect from data services to HANA and MySQL. What we will do is use a Windows box, which I am drawing quite large here on the screen because it contains multiple pieces of software. And we'll be using data services designer, which is the name of the user interface with which we'll create jobs. And we'll connect to MySQL, which is hosted in the same box. So that's the first step. Next, we'll have the Linux box on the right, which hosts the HANA in-memory database. And the second step will be to connect from data services to HANA. With that, let's take a look at this in action with Bob. So firstly, to do this, we need to launch data services. So go to Start, All Programs, SAP Business Objects Data Services, and select the Data Services Designer. The first thing to do is to log in with your username and password. So for us, the username is student. And the password is welcome one. So when you enter login, we, it should take us in and log us into our repository. Now, when data services is started, what we can see is that we have three main windows, the canvas area, the project area, and the local object library. So the first thing we need to do is go to the sixth tab in our local object library which is our data stores tab. This is where we essentially build connections to all data sources that we want to use. So to build the data store, there are different ways to do it. One way is to go to project, new, and select data store. Remember, we're connecting to a MySQL database, so we're going to call the data store name MySQL. The data store type can remain as database. The database type we're going to connect to is MySQL, so select that from the seventh option in the list. The database version will be 5.1. And next we, next, we, next we need to choose our data source. So this is our ODBC connection. So if I click on ODBC admin, and then click on the second tab, which is system DSN, what we can see is that we've got various system data sources. The one that we're connecting to is this MySQL driver. So if I configure, what I want to do is show you about the show you information about the connection parameters to the MySQL database. Well, firstly, the MySQL database is on this same Windows box. So the IP or the server name is just localhost. The user we're connecting to is STS. The password again is welcome one. And the schema we're connecting to is STS. We can simply test this now by clicking on the test button. And what we should get as our test result is that the connection is sexful, successful. So select OK in that test result. You can click Cancel in your connection parameters. And also you can click Cancel in our ODBC Data Source Administrator because essentially we haven't changed anything. Therefore, as the data source from the drop-down list, let's go and select MySQL. And the username will be STS with the password welcome one. Remember capital W. Then we just need to click on OK. Now at the moment, all we've done is connect to a MySQL database. We don't have any metadata from that database in our data services repository yet. So to get that metadata, what we need to do is expand our data store, which is called MySQL, and double click on the tables. Now, what you'll then see are two options, external metadata and repository metadata. 
External metadata shows us what is in the MySQL database. If I click on the repository metadata, this shows us what is in the data services repository. As you can see, up to now we've imported no metadata from that MySQL database. To import the metadata, we just need to go back to the external metadata, select all four tables, right click on all four tables, and select import. This will then import only the metadata of those tables into the data services repository. Remember that the data will be left in MySQL, we're only importing the metadata of those tables. To check whether we've actually imported those tables is very easy. If I expand the list of tables in my MySQL data store, we should have four tables. There's a couple of tests that we can do to ensure that we've connected correctly. Firstly, if I double click on the DIM customer table, what we should see is the metadata of that table. So we can see the column names, the data types, and if there's any primary keys. If we actually want to see the data within those tables, we simply need to right click on the DIM customer table and select the option view data. So there we can see the, the 120 rows within the MySQL database in the DIM customer table, which is in the STS schema. So that's a simple demonstration on how you can import data from a MySQL database on a Windows machine into your data services repository. Now that we've created our connection to the MySQL database, we need to create a connection to the HANA database on the Linux server. So to do this, close your view data window from your MySQL data. And what we're going to do is minimize the data store for MySQL by clicking on the minus button next to the MySQL data store. And then we can close any windows by clicking on the icon indicated, which will close any windows that we've got open in our data services designer. So to create the connection to HANA, we go again to Project, New, and we're going to choose Data Store. So again, it's Project New Data Store. This time we're going to call this Data Store HANA. The data store type will remain database. The database type will be SAP HANA. The database version will be 1.x. And again, we need to go to our ODBC admin by clicking on the ODBC admin icon. Select the second tab, which is system DSN. Don't worry if you've got a message indicating that you don't have any administrative privileges. Just click OK. And we're just going to look at the HANA system data source. So select the third system data source and click on the configure icon. So the ODBC connectivity is quite straightforward. We're connecting to a machine called HANA and the instance is 00. zero. However, when you enter a port which connects to HANA, the first number will be by default the number three. You will then have the instance number and the last two numbers will be by default one five. So because our instance was zero zero, our port will be three zero zero one five. Now just to test connectivity, you can go ahead and click on the connect button and we can enter a system user and that password. So the user you should enter is system and the password you should enter is welcome one and then you can click on OK. Again all we're doing here is testing that the HANA database connectivity works OK. So we should have a result back that says connect successful. So we can click on OK. Because we haven't changed anything in our SAP HANA connect, connect and connections we can click on cancel and again, because we haven't changed anything, within the ODBC Data Source Administrator, you can select Cancel. 
So now we should be back in our create new data store window in data services. So we can go ahead and select as our data source the third option which is HANA and we can enter our username which is system and our password which is welcome one. Remember capital W, the rest of the letters are lowercase and then we've got the number one. And then we can click on OK. If we get no errors, the data store will be created and you'll be able to see that on the left hand side. We don't need to import any tables because we're going to be creating the tables using data services in the next demo. So that was a quick demonstration on how we can create a connection to a HANA database, even if it's on the Linux server, within SAP Business Objects Data Services.